Okay, let me pull up Ricky Lindholm's page. Do we know who she is? She's the singer lady. She was in that group with that short little girl. They're like a comedy duo and they sing. One's blonde, one's uh what is that group called that they were in? Real creepy. Look at her. She's very old and aged. And this is what I was talking about. Look at this uh, Instagram post. Already in bed, trying to do that thing where I fool my body into thinking it's bedtime because I have to wake up at 4.30. Wish me luck. Now, what the hell is the goddamn point of a post like this? Uh, uh, Really, besides being completely needy and lost in the world, but you're seeing a lot of these lately where people are just posting pictures of their face and just giving a pointless update. So you just want some sort of interaction. You don't care how you get it. You figure you'll post a picture and, and and here come the guys. Here come the men. And what's funny is a feminist comic such as Ricky Lindholm, she's a comedian. She posted this the other day. Look at this one. It's her. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see this. Maybe I'll go back to this page here. Yeah, here she is. And it's just her wearing a Letterman jacket with a pair of gross, saggy ass, sweaty ass panties. You see that? And it's got this red lighting hiding under the, all the wrinkles. So all you're seeing is a topless girl here, very old, hereditary ish looking woman, uh, wearing the Letterman jacket covering the breasts. And she posts this and she writes, This is how I walk around sometimes. I'm an 80s babysitter at heart, and my friends accept that about me. And I'm going, these are the same women who can't stand to be catcalled, right? And you're looking through the comments, and you're seeing stuff like this. You're seeing this guy go, no one should ever complain when you walk around like that. And then you're seeing a guy like this, loudy mama, flames. So I'm doing this, and this one you guys could all do with me. And you could easily keep a copy and paste in your notepad, call it IG copy and pastes. And this is a good one, and you use this one anytime a guy is commenting on a woman's body or saying something, you know, sexual in the comments, which is always, always on all these pictures. But you should only do it to, you don't do it to, like, uh, models, okay? You only do it to, like, people like Ricky Lindholm. This is not supposed to, this is supposed to be a comedian woman, not a sexual butt model, right? So there shouldn't be any sexual stuff really going on in her comment thing, in her comment threads. So uh, you could do this. You could borrow this from me. And I say this. I copy this. I reply to the men personally, each guy personally. And I say, this comment is a me too moment. Please stop sexually harassing. And that's all you got to (laughs) say. This is a me too style comment. We have taken screenshots. That's another one I use. And you reply this and you put these guys on blast. And at the same time, you're putting up the uh, comedian on blast who claims she hates the way guys act. So if this was happening to her in the street, she'd be appalled. Remember, but they love it when it happens in their Instagram. They love accepting the disgusting comments from the married father of threes, you know, that you see in these comment threads. So here's one. I think I got one here. This guy says, speechless, unreal, shaking my head. Imagine writing this to a girl, a stranger. Speechless, unreal. Because he saw her body. It's unreal. I wrote, this comment is a me too moment. Please stop sexually harassing. And he writes back. He goes, really? She's a comedian. Read her Instagram. Schumer, sir. Get some. Shaking my head, LOL. I simply respond back to him with this. You're a predator. There it is. (laughs) You're a predator. I didn't want to say it the first time, but I'm not buying it, sir. She's a comedian. Read her Instagram. What does that have to do with you saying speechless? You're speechless because this ugly girl is in her panties? What are you going to do with it? What are you telling her this for? You know. And why is she accepting this? So, And that's another one. You're a predator if they argue back with you. Oh, yeah? You're a predator. Red Bar accuses. That's what this segment is called. Red Bar accuses. Yeah, here's one in the chat. These men are sick. Short and sweet. I love getting called sir. You don't argue with anybody. You just go deeper. Mike gave them an out. He was being nice, but now they forced him to point out that they're predators. Yeah. (laughs) 
Uh, this is like that show Cheaters. Yes, it is. See, this would be a good mini doc. Going through all the feminists and showing like the girls, uh, you know, uh, showing Ricky Lindholm. I'm sure if you go through Twitter, you could find plenty of Me Too, pro Me Too tweets, right? Feminist tweets. Show that in the doc. Then show her picture. Then show all her fans catcalling her that she never bans or never says gross to, never says knock it off, never says don't talk to me like that. Nope. Just accepts it. And, and frankly, not just accepts it. It's not like she's scrolling through and going, ugh, ugh, why do I even post pictures like this? I hate these companies. No, no, no. She's posting and going, hmm, hmm, oh, damn. Ooh, I feel young again. So, yeah, my uh, Jules is looking at me like, going, yep, exactly. That's what they're doing. So, <laughs> I believe this is a problem. I believe this is a, you know. Uh, I mean, there's no reason to post something like that if that's not the reason. Exactly. Right? There's no excuse. Look at this picture of her <laughs> face. Ooh, that is an elderly woman. Very, very elderly. Uh, let's see. There could be some. Oh, what was that it? I thought I had some more. Here's a nice picture of her there. Very elderly. She don't want it. So try this one. Yeah, try this one where you, uh, you know, say this is a me too. I've been doing this all over the net on Joe Rogan's post. You know, uh, Joe Rogan had uh, Christina P on. Do I have that one? No. Joe Rogan had Christina P on. And uh, he posted an Instagram post with Christina P, uh, her photo. And there were a ton of comments. Luckily, there were a lot of people who sided with me. I wrote, wow, are you guys going to pretend she killed on her degenerate special? Or are you going to talk about how she bombed? I got 168 likes on that. So people are aware, even Joe Rogan's fans, they are aware that this Christina P is nothing. Her value, zero. <laughs> okay? So they're they're getting that, at least, which is good. But um, uh, there were a lot of people in his comments going, damn, sexy and funny. Damn, beautiful. Wow, I'd let her break apart my marriage. It's like, what are you talking about? Christina P. She's a big, fat old lady. It's so weird. It's like, I think there's a, a certain amount of people where if they see one, like, modely, like, fake-ass Photoshopped picture of somebody that's, like, for promo, and the girl will, like, they can't distinguish, like, oh, here's Christina P., like, on the cover of her Netflix poster and what she looks like in real life. Like, they can't, they don't realize, like, no, that's just doctored up. You know, she Doctored. looks certainly looks, <laughs> yeah, prettier in that one. But to think Christina P is hot, it's like, where are you getting this idea from? And there's a lot of guys who say that. So I was right in there, too. You know, I was going in there, too. What the hell is this kind of Me Too thing you got going on here? Disgusting. We've screenshot this, sir. And it's part of an investigation I'm doing on you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I hope you don't mind. This is going to be in a coffee table book I'm doing about guys like you. OK, <laughs> this is public. I have screenshotted it. You're publicly being put in a documentary about yourself, you know, and that kind of believe me, it freaks these guys out a little bit because they lose themselves. They lose themselves in lust here on Instagram. But I think this would be a good one. Let's narrow down the women who want it both ways. And we'll make a little video called the women who want it both ways. And we'll show maybe three or four of these feminist women who uh, have no problem taking the most disgusting, vile comments from men. Okay? I think that would be a great little video to make and put out there and really put it on blast. Because I believe that is a blind spot. That's a problem, you know, that people aren't focusing on. Uh, and these women are getting off on that. And I don't like when people secretly get off. And that's why you wouldn't do it to a model. You wouldn't do it to like a butt model. They're being honest about what they're here for. You know, they're here for that ass. Although I did get into it with a butt model. 